Welcome to our, our video on Praxis 2. This is a sample question on, on functions from the 0061 sample PDF that ETS pu puts out. And I chose it just because um, it's just one of those questions that I think the setup looks more intimidating than it really is. And it's important to talk about how to break these things down. So here it says if we have, first of all, a graph of the function f of x. And it's the line with the slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 1. And then the graph of the function g of x is the line with the slope of negative 2 and y-intercept of negative 1. Which of the following is an algebraic representation of the function y equals f of g of x? So really, I mean, all we have to really do in this problem is figure out what is f of x and what is g of x, right? So in other words, what are these lines? And then if we plug g of x into f of x, that's, that's, that's what uh, this is saying right here, and simplify it, we should get one of these terms. So let's, let's talk about f of x. Well, f of x is the line with the slope of 2. So m is 2, and the y-intercept b equals 1. It's pretty straightforward. The, one of the forms of, of a linear function is y equals mx plus b. You might also have to deal with y minus y1 equals, this is the point, the point slope formula, m times x minus x1, right? But here we're dealing with this right here. So if m is 2 and, and b is 1, what do we have? We have y equals 2x plus 1. And then g of x, what's that? Well, g of x is the line with the slope of negative 2. So m equals negative 2 and b equals negative 1. So here, the, the, the equation for this line is y equals negative 2x minus 1. And that, and that I guess I should, it might make more sense to write this equals a g of x and this equals f of x. So what's f of g of x? Well that just means you plug g of x into f of x. So f of x is 2x plus 1 so it's going to be 2 times negative 2x minus 1 plus 1. And all I did there was plug this equation into the x value for f of x. So here we use the distributive property. 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x, right? 2 times negative 1 is minus 2 plus 1. We simplify this, so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 and f of g of x equals negative 4x minus 1. And that's our answer, which is right here. It is c. All right, hope that helped.